This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Hey there, Arty! Why? <laughs> she, okay, hang on. She had a star at the end of her sentence. That means she's a duple ghost from Paper Mario. I might have been making a very troubled face. Run a smile brightly at me. Alright! <laughs> CG, CG. There seem to be different cliques, even within the class. But duh, there's 30 people. Most of them were divided up by gender and age, but our group was different. Our ages were different, and we had both boys and girls. But we weren't reserved around each other. This level of openness makes a transfer student like me pretty happy. I do like that. Rena and Mion pushed their desks together, so they were facing each other. At the same time, Satoko and Rika-chan were slowly lugging their desks over as well. Rena waved her chopsticks in an unrefined manner, trying to hurry me along. You gotta eat with best girl. Unless everyone was together, they wouldn't even ha open their lunch boxes. Okay, and you are definitely worst girl. What the heck? Why are you being such a butt? Even though Satoko was hurling insults at me, she still wouldn't open the lid to her lunchbox until I was there. I pulled out my lunchbox swiftly and dragged my chair over to join the circle. <laughs> Here's my diced filet mignon with a beer blanc sauce, with a side of truffle garlic potato gratin, and some grilled asparagus spears. And what do you have in- oh, <laughs> peanut butter and jelly? Well, <laughs> I, I suppose that's fine too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Are you, are you kidding me? Mio needs to give us permission to eat? What kind of authoritarian hellscape is this? At first, this was kind of embarrassing, but I got used to it pretty fast. At this point, I probably wouldn't even open my own lunchbox if someone else was too slow. Our ages and genders may all have been different, but we were all friends. The sound of our five-part chorus echoed beautifully throughout the classroom. Hey! It's our first CG, and this is definitely only in the PlayStation graphics. Aw, oh, this is cute! Even Satoko looks cute in this one. I like that. If we press P... Nope. Art style original, art style console. Nope. Okay, CGs don't have different art styles. That's a bit of a shame. Really, though, I've gotten pretty used to this group made up of all girls. Oh, once again, we're freaking the only guy in the group! Why? Man, I miss the days of Clanad when it was basically just us and Sunohara, who is our, like, doofus best bro friend. Those were the days. Of, of course, there are other boys in the class, but we didn't want to draw them. <laughs> but they were a lot younger, so they were scared to approach me. Well, that's to be expected. Younger boys just see older boys as scary. Compare that to girls. Well, at least these girls aren't picky. Oh, great, so he's the only dude his own age here. That's gonna be rough. We put all the side dishes in the middle where everyone is free to pick at them. We're sharing lunch? I ain't sharing lunch with these girls. No way. I packed my lunch for me. I just th I thought girls would mind sharing a meal with a guy, so I was a bit flustered joining in. However, Mio noticed that and teased me quite a bit. As the fruit of my efforts, I can now reach over and take sides from anybody's lunch. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> okay, see, I like this kind of banter back and forth between them. This is actually sweet. Buying into the fight that Satoko was starting, our chopsticks locked in a cross counter, a cross counter, stabbing into each other's lunch. What the heck is taro? Cold stew? Uh-uh. After seeing my happy face, Rika-chan's expression broke into a little smile. Oh, you know Rika's got the good stuff. By the way, Satoko and Rika-chan's lunches are always the same. It seems that Rika-chan makes it for both of them every day. Oh, oh, okay, so... Wait, hang on, let me read that again. Okay, so Rika makes both of their lunches. So every day they have the same... 
Every day, Rika's lunch and Satoko's lunch is going to match each other. I thought it was saying, like, <laughs> Rika always brings egg salad. It smells so bad, but she eats it every single day. <laughs> That's me. Anytime I go to work, it's just like peanut butter and jelly. It's convenient. <laughs> and it doesn't smell when you microwave it. Also, you don't microwave it. <laughs> I was honestly impressed. That's because Rika is your mom, who has traveled back in time to her young body. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making this up. <laughs> the carrot rosettes weren't from a mold. They were done by hand with a knife. That's not easy to do. Dane! Yeah, Rika's, the, Rika's gonna be the shining star in this, I can tell. She's, she's, she's already got it together, and she's only, like, ten years old. What was with that laugh? <laughs> really? Oh! I don't trust you, Rena. You really seem like you're a dupla ghost. It seemed that the topic of conversation switched to Rena when she wasn't expecting it, making her blush and trip over her words. That seems to be her default her default state of being. Rena's lunch was really the star of the table. Not only did it look good, it tasted good. Everyone else pulled from Rena's lunchbox constantly. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Mion, I wanted the steak! <laughs> Knocking Mion's chopsticks aside, I reached out trying to secure my own portion. Satoko and Rika-chan reached over at the same time, and a struggle ensued. Everyone shoveled in mouthful after mouthful while praising it, and Rana's lunchbox was soon empty. Meanwhile, nobody wanted to eat Mion's lunch. <laughs> she only ever just brings bread and cheese. That's it. <laughs> it was kind of bad that no one thought to leave any for Rena, But Rena seemed rather satisfied as she looked on. Why? Nobody? Nobody makes their hands like that. Nobody. What are you doing, Satoko? Well, excuse me if my parents never taught me how to cook. How can you not tell the difference? It's, it's so obvious! One of them looks dead, and the other looks like barf. <laughs> it's, it's pretty easy! <laughs> what? <laughs> so, okay, Satoko, we really need to teach you about the world. Satoko's face went pale. Oi, oi. One of them is white, the other is green. What? It's really hard for her to lie. Ugh! That sounds repulsive! Ugh! Oh, I'm gagging just thinking about that. Broccoli and cauliflower both kind of suck. Boil them? Boil them? Even worse. Douse them with mayonnaise? Ugh! Ugh. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I'm actually retching right now. You are very, very wrong, Rena. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> Rena hurried we tried to follow up, but Miona laughed haughtily as she drew closer to Satoko. Mion lifted up her chopsticks. Between them was a piece of green stuff wrapped in bacon. Okay, well, alright. If you wrap the broccoli in bacon, it's gonna taste good. But that's not because the broccoli tastes good, it's because the bacon tastes good. Oh, dude, bacon wrapped asparagus? Oh, I would eat the crap out of that. That sounds so delicious. 
<laughs> Whoa! Rika just vaporized! Mion made eye contact with me, and within three seconds, I had Rika ma Chan's mouth covered. Holding a piece of bacon wrapped asparagus and giving her two choices, she's pretty terrible. What? What is going on? What is wrong with you? You can't even go by shape? I have got to question her parents' uh, parental skills. How do you not know? It's not like these vegetables are uncommon in Japan, either. I'd expect no less from the class representative. The oldest. The way she drives people into a corner just shows how much experience she has. This is just a hunch, but being brought into the Sonozaki household must be quite the ordeal. Why are you doing that weird thing with your hands again? And why are you crying crocodile tears again? She finally broke down and started crying. When she acts like this, she actually starts to seem her age. Oh no, not her uwu face again. That's seriously creepy. Rena entered a state of euphoria as Satoko bawled her eyes out. That's kind of weird. Rena was in a state of bliss as she rubbed her cheek against Satoko's head and smothered her. So what I'm getting at is that Keishi and Rika seem like they're the only normal ones here. Really, a very content face. One that wouldn't care if the world ended right then. It was that kind of smile. I'm not really worried about the smile. I'm more worried about the eyes. Or the lack thereof. Because those are not her eyebrows. Because she has eyebrows above that. Her eyes just turn into voids. I'm very glad I don't have to voice that. I didn't do anything. What the? <laughs> what? What the crap? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, well, that's absolutely the thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, does this have different? No, darn it. I was really hoping that this was in multiple different art styles. Oh, that's freaking hilarious. You better not be punching me, Rika. Or not, not Rika. <laughs> Rika better not be punching me, but uh, Rena, you better not be punching me. You better be punching Mion, who's the one who is doing this. Also, I still don't know what's happening. It's like, oh, you don't know what broccoli looks like. <laughs> like, that's the dumbest teasing ever. It was like a flash of lightning. She freaking socked me. I didn't do anything. Well, actually, no, I, I gagged Rika. And prevented her from speaking. Actually, no, that was justified. Both of Rena's fists shot out at supersonic speed, striking Mion and me squarely in our faces. Before we knew it, Mion and I were sprawled, spread eagle on the floor, staring up at the ceiling with matching welts on our faces. What the heck? Rena's like a heavyweight boxer, too! Dang, she good. The first time? Is this gonna happen more than once? Oh, dude. Rena for Smash. So for that, Mion and I both slumped our heads back to the floor in unison. For now, I'll be careful when I'm within striking distance of Rena and her 16 fists. Yikes. No kidnapping, Rena. I can't believe I have to say this. Making sure Rena couldn't see it, Satoko stuck her tongue out at us. Oh, you really are the worst. <sighs> Damn it all. Using Rena like a puppet. Rika-chan massaged our bruises without saying a word. Yeah, see? Rika's the real winner. That's when the principal walked in and gave Satoko and Rena detention. Oh, nope. Class is over. No matter what the day it held, the last school bell always came too soon. Our shadows stretched off into the distance. Hey, Keichi-kun. 
何か予定とかあるかなかな Hmm. What do we. Well, I was gonna have game day, but, uh. I mean. It was such a direct question from Rena, I inadvertently blushed. Oh, you kind of crushed it on her, too. I if it was a date, then wouldn't you do it more subtly? Rena saw me lost for words and realized that I'd misunderstood and turned red as well. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sakurai's like, I know we already said that we were done with Smash Ultimate DLC characters, but we had to add in Rena from Higurashi. <laughs> or honestly, I would take Re a Rena outfit for a me brawler. That could also work well. So apparently, that wasn't what she meant. But since it was always fun when Rena's in a panic, I went along with it a little. <laughs> Playing it up, I slumped my shoulders, feigning dejection. <laughs> Bruh, you've only known her for a month. Maybe don't be creepy. Wait, oh, she's here too? What kind of a laugh was that? <laughs> Can I play that back? It's, it sounds like an exotic bird. <laughs> But it was kind of amazing. Unable to hold it in any longer, Mion slapped me on the back. When she says this old geezer, is she referring to herself or us? I don't know. Maybe she's referring to me because I am 26 years old. And I am like 10 years older than these girls. That Oh, no, you know what that is? That's the female version of the Tita slap from Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Mion was rolling on the floor, clutching her stomach while Rena flailed around, completely bewildered. I couldn't help but start laughing as well. Feeling just a bit guilty, I ruffled Rena's hair. <laughs> she really is a cute one. <laughs> <laughs> but if Seuss, if you did want to go on a date, he'd be up for that. <laughs> I also have never played Final Fantasy X, but I know the Titus laugh. <laughs> True. <laughs> I think Mion is kind of trying to set us up, which, could, that, you know, I, I, get, I get you, girl. I appreciate it. It was only a momentary lapse, but there was no way Mion would let such a de delectable detail slip by her. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so... Saying anything more was also a bad idea. In my bewildered state, I slipped further into an unfavorable position. After that, Mion continued to tease me about it for a while. Look, I'm pretty sure Ren is super crushing on us, so... <laughs> so now that we've dropped Mion off, we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> it had been so long that Rena had forgotten. That's how long Mion had teased me. Oh, we didn't drop her off! I don't know, if it's, there's, there's only like 30 kids in the entire village. Probably isn't that complicated. That was true. I hate to say it, but if you blindfolded me and spun me around three times like we're playing pin the tail on the donkey, I wouldn't be able to tell up from down here. It's a pretty location. Oh, field trip, sure. That would be a godsend. Frankly, I was happy about the offer. Bro, just say yes. <laughs> she got a point. <laughs> He's got a point. I was being stubborn so as not to give a clear yes or no. Just say yes. They're being nice to you. 
Well, Mion's also teasing us relentlessly, but Ren is being nice to us. Even though it was a godsend, I'm too much of a scamp to say so up front. At least he's honest. <laughs> Sorry, I can't do that because I'm dating Rena tomorrow. <laughs> While Mion and I had our rather sour back and forth, Rena peeked over at me hesitantly. Figuring if I'd been a bit too rough on her, I just gave in. The trepidation disappeared from Rena's face as it blossomed into a smile. <laughs> That's because Rena is unfailingly kind to us when she's not punching us in the face in a uh, kawaii fra uh, phase. You, on the other hand, can be have a bit of a ton on you. It seems Mion didn't care for how rude I was to her compared to how quickly I agreed with Rena. But being her being annoyed was very interesting. So I pushed Rena forward, speeding up our pace to leave Mion behind. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> we are literally just gonna ditch Mion! Ooh, last name, my bada. <laughs> what a sleaze! <laughs> oh, dude, and we know how good Rena's cooking is. This is amazing. <laughs> Joke's on you, Mio, and this town's so small it doesn't have a hotel district. Heck, it doesn't even have a hotel. Whoa! <laughs> Did she just cold cock me? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, Rena's a little scary at times. <laughs> Rena bounded off like she was walking on the moon. After the dust settled, all that was left was me standing next to Mio and sprawled out on the ground. There was a welt on her face. Oh my gosh, Rena just cold clocked her. Bruh. Wait, what? Rena is lanky calm confirmed. Well, that's what happens when she crushing on me. Okay, so Mion refers to herself as this old geezer? Is she an old soul like me? Maybe it'd be easier if you stopped saying stuff that makes Rena want to hit you. Or else this will end up being me own slapstick comedy hour. If that happened, the results might be fatal. Could it be that we were hanging around with an unrivaled martial arts master? Probably. Maybe someday we'll see her debut in an extreme contact sport. <laughs> <laughs> Mion and I reaffirmed our determination to discover a way to counter Rena's infallible technique. She's lanky calm because she can stretch her arms out and punch it over three meters distance away. Ooh! In case you forgot, you're playing Higurashi when they cry. Thus well, far, I haven't cried yet, nor have I been scared, so. New tips unlocked? What, we need tips for a visual novel? Achievement unlocked. Welcome to Hinamizawa. View all tips? Why did the music get super creepy all of a sudden? Wear a mixed grade? Or is this is this just a scene select? <laughs> Wait, what? Is this like an optional scene? So, Rena, we're the same age? This is... this is a new scene, so... Hey, now, it would be weird if we were the same age, but not the same Zodiac animal. Who cares about Zodiac animals and signs? 
あそうかミオ頭いいじゃないか<笑><笑>ところでケイチ君は何月生まれなのかな She sounds so much like Nagisa. Rena was s i r a t s n a n d e Rena smirked and puffed up with pride. Hey now, what's the meaning of this? She's not planning to be all high and mighty if her birthday is a wee bit sooner than mine, is she? Daga, a k i r a m e r o Oreni Tanjovi de Domotta, Mudana Kotoda. Nana Dotchiga Tosueka. Bats gave its kiddish show with them easy. Rana panicked at suddenly being challenged to a wager. So we made a wager or two. <laughs> Given how panicked she is, I am certain she doesn't have much allowance left this month. It's just, sending her into a panic about something as simple as a birthday is so fun, I can't help myself. Is this like just an optional one off scene? Because if so, I am so down for that. That's really cool. So you got that, huh? Sanden that, huh? Lena? What? もうとっくにレナより年上なんだよ。I'm just an old man. へえ、そうなんだ。じゃあ、みーちゃんと同い年なんだね。まあ、ほんの何ヶ月かはね。すぐにまた差を開いてあげるけどさ。Who acts high and mighty for just being a few months older than someone? みーん、snickered through her nose. <laughs> hey, now, that's not something to get all high and mighty about. As if I'm the one to talk. So, Yeba, Mion, the Joku said on the r a Mion tested out of a few grades. Kaku say no one, Moiru tenera. Kyokara Kaku say the k o t o d e m i k e d o These girls are so thirsty. Speaking of thirsty, Gobra Mita, Yokova, can I go to it? Yes, she is. Just by seeing Rena's blushing face, you could tell she knew exactly what she meant by it, though. And Satoko to Rika Changa Kakuse to Dokoraka Gakoga Chigau Krai no Kakuse da Yona. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that they still are in the same class as us. Kichkuma, Joto Konomi no Nemega Kusikiro to Mona, Mona. We were not implying that. You're not making any sense yourself, Rena. I'll just grab onto her head and scruff it up a bit. I'm very confused, but this does seem to just be an optional scene. But I, I, I totally dig that. When she says it like that, it makes sense. I thought our school was strange for a while now. Schoolyard is gravel, and there are rooms that aren't for classes, and there's some sort of strange construction machinery parked here. Yeah, it's a very interesting school. Yeah, why, is it, why are we in fake school? <laughs> it was before the war. It probably was a grand old schoolhouse. True. I couldn't tell where that was by the location, but I understood it was pretty far from Renan's reaction. Renan reacts like that to everything! まあ、そんなわけでさ。沖の宮の学校に通いたくない連中はこうしてエイリンスの建物を曲がりした仮校舎に通ってるってわけさ。ひなみざわの子供の半分くらいかな。朝早くに自転車で通ってる子たちも結
ぜ頑張ってくださいな。It is weird that Miona's referring to herself as an old man. <laughs> like, old lady would be in one vein, but eh. Interesting. Ren is a lot better than Amine from Fruit of Gutsaya. Your future is bleak. How dare you? Who the heck is Chi? <laughs> the Chi of the air is telling us we're too loud. Oh, oh, Chi is the teacher. The teacher yelled at all three of us. It was completely our fault. Man, out of all the teachers we've had in, uh, Out of all the teachers we've had in the visual novels we played, I really miss Awu, the, the gui guidance counselor from uh, Clonad, just because of his name. Obviously, though, Prince of Pau was the best. I stuck out my tongue at her in response. Oh, I, I don't think I read that. Satoko was being a butt, so I stuck out her, my tongue out at her. It is just as Mion says. This school has nothing to do with higher education. But it makes up for that by having lots of valuable things that other schools don't. Like... What the heck? It's like the, a Dark Temple of Time remix. Do you want the optional scenes? They're really creepy. We don't have a uniform. Thank goodness. Wait, I thought... Wait a sec. But I thought... That's actually true, but... I, I thought Rena was wearing the school uniform. Rena definitely looks like she's wearing a school uniform. It's only June, but it's already so hot. I could hear the Higarashi outside chirping. Me, 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 me. And at night there are mosquitoes. It might as well be summer already. Um, June is summer. I got news for you. My only salvation was that the mornings were still cool. Why do your fists do that? Satoko was flapping her skirt languidly. That's pretty unladylike there. Even if she was a little brat, she still was a girl. Kate's girl is gone imagining something indecent. Yeah, that is a school uniform. Like, I have seen that school uniform from, like, photos of anime girls before. <laughs> Because people post them in discords quite a bit. Like, they're both wearing neckties. Nobody, especially no girl, wears neckties unless they are part of a uniform. I still think she's a duple ghost. So are they forced to be wearing these clothes? I mean, obviously they are because they could only draw so many assets for this game. But, like, actual, like, plot, story-wise, do they have to wear these clothes by school regulation? Or are they choosing to? Or is it just like their parents are like, well, this is your uniform. Here's what you're wearing. <laughs> no daughter of mine is going out looking like a slob. I had a feeling that Rena and Satoko's base values were fundamentally different. <laughs> Just, yes. So basically, we can't wear... <laughs> we can't wear truly indecent clothing, and we probably can't wear clothing of, like... I don't know, like, satanic stuff, which you shouldn't wear that ever, but... 
yeah, as long as you're wearing, like, clothes that cover up the important stuff, we should be fine. There are quite a few students in regular clothes. There were a few wearing uniforms, but they were all the same design and rather plain. Yes, the desks are all wearing the same uniform. She looks evil in her default sprite. わざわざどこかから取り寄せたのかええ、ミオンさんが調達してくださいますのミーちゃんの親類で古着ショーをやってる人がいて全国の学校の服を格安で仕入れてるんだってええ、確かにこうで、その親類に頼んでいろいろ